morning everyone it is our second day in jeju and we just had breakfast at the hotel had an amazing view and now we are going to continue on our little bus tour we are going to go to the east side of the island and so we're gonna hop on a bus right now and it's a little bit of a far ride but um the bus is right in front of our hotel so let's go we're doing a two-day one night one so let the journey begin. We missed it again. <laughs> no. bus driver of the day we just got on this bus but the bus driver told us we asked him like just to make sure is this the bus going to where we want and he said oh but the other one's faster and it's coming soon so thank you kind bus driver we will wait for the faster one our destination been here once before and this time actually because we were kind of the only people here they let us watch the video in English so they have a lot of different versions of like the main informational video so that was really nice of them um, I actually learned a lot more than I did the previous time so yeah now we are well on the east side of the island um, we just looked around and I think now we're going to get some coffee to wake us back up it's really windy today so the water looks really wild we might hit the beach and and then we're gonna head, uh, hop on a bus to our next destination. So it's around noon already, so maybe some lunch too. I'm already hungry, how is that possible? Let's go.
Lunch has been had, we are full of fish, and now we are taking a bus to some waterfall. Probably gonna fall asleep on the bus because I am so full. Let's hop on. Chunjian, it's windy again. I will put you down. Let's find these waterfalls. So the last time I came here was in 2013 with some of my friends when I studied abroad. And we came here like early in the morning. It was so bright, but it's so pretty right now. It, apparently it closes at nine. We we're here around 6.30. Um, there's still like a good amount of people, but it's really pretty in this light. Oh, I'm excited to see them. I can hear them, but we haven't reached them yet, so. Jeju, it is our last day and a typhoon is rolling in. So we have enough time to do kind of one thing and then we're going to take the bus back to uh, Jeju City and get on our plane home, hopefully. So um, yeah, we're gonna take two more buses today, maybe three, depending on the weather, we might not wanna walk as much. Let's finish up the last leg of our two day, one night trip using the Jeju bus tour guide and Hopefully we don't get blown away. It's very hard to film right now, but we're about to get on our bus. Oh, it's coming soon, thank God. So, oh. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> to the Jusan Jolly Cliffs. It's really windy, so you might not even be able to hear me, but we're excited. It's not really raining. Let's go see them. Bye. There's a little bit of construction right now, so if you want to see the full usual view, I have a video. I will link it above. Path seems to be open, but it's just thinner.
I would just like to say this is my first time ever wearing a poncho and I love it. And I love that every single other person at this place is also in a poncho. There's just something really wonderful about it. So to any of the tourists in New York City that I rolled my eyes at that were like in large groups of people wearing ponchos, I deeply apologize. I didn't know what I was missing. We live and we learn. <laughs> Okay, successful time at the Chushanjoli Cliffs. And actually from here, right from the entrance area, um, there is a direct bus right to the Jeju airport. So we are going to head back to Jeju Shi so that we are there. We've got about four hours before our flight at this point. So, but we wanna get over there just in case because of the weather. So gonna hop on a bus, don't have to change, going all the way across the island the 600 if you're interested it is all in the jeju bus pdf their custom tour which you can find on their website which i will have linked below let's go catch it before the rain gets even harder airport fashion going on. Ah, so I made it home safely. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. This was definitely one of the most fun trips I've ever been on. Thanks a huge part to Sung Young, who is my new friend um, and my travel partner for this trip. It was a really, really good time. So the whole purpose of this video and my previous Jeju video was to share the bus guide. And seriously, it is a really, really great resource, even if you're just gonna use it as a basis. So I will link it down below. You can get the PDF, um, save it to your phone. It had a lot of things I would have never thought of, like that stone park. I'm so glad we went, it was magical. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, Every time that I've been to Jeju, I have used public transportation. I use public transportation in all of my trips in Korea. And I don't think you need to try and rent a car or worse of all, not go to Jeju at all because you think you need a car for it. It's a really, really magical place. I still haven't even scratched the surface. I haven't seen the west of Jeju at all. So hopefully I can get back there soon and show you guys around, explore it with you. Just overall, thank you guys so, so much for this opportunity. That being said, I'm going to pass out. Sorry that there wasn't a whole lot of footage there at the end. The typhoon started rolling in and flights started getting delayed and I hate flying in general. So um, I was just kind of focusing on myself, kind of mentally taking, taking a little care. We made it home, everything was great, and I'm excited to go on my next trip with you. So, I will leave you here. Thank you as always. Catch you next time, bye.